Hi kids, welcome back to Faith Sprouts. I miss Susanna. Let's keep looking in the book of Genesis in our Bibles. We learned about Noah, and if we keep reading in Genesis, we learn about a young man named Joseph. Can you say Joseph? Good, here is Joseph. He was a young man who did love God, and he had 11 brothers. That is a lot of brothers. Can you help me count to 11? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is all of your fingers plus one more. That's eleven brothers. Well, here is Joseph's father. His name was Jacob. Jacob loved Joseph more than the other brothers. He loved him so much that he gave him a special, beautiful, colorful coat, but he only gave one to Joseph. And that made all of his other brothers feel very jealous, very angry at Joseph. You ever felt jealous or angry of somebody or maybe your brother or sister? That's how his brothers felt. Joseph had dreams too, and he shared his dreams with his father and his brothers. He dreamed that the sun, the moon, and 11 stars all bowed down to him. He also dreamed that he was out in the field working with his brothers, collecting grain, and all of their sheaves of grain bowed down to his sheaf of grain. And again, this made his brothers very angry. They said, who do you think you are? Do you think we will bow down to you and serve you? Joseph did not understand what all of these things meant that God was giving him these dreams. But later in his life, these dreams would make sense. God was watching over Joseph. He's watching over all of us, but he saw Joseph when his father gave him the beautiful coat. And he saw Joseph when he gave him those mysterious dreams and he saw the way his brothers were angry at him. God saw it all and he was with Joseph. Because his brothers were angry though, they made a bad plan. One day, well, all his brothers were out taking care of their father's sheep. Joseph came to see them. When his brothers saw him coming, they said, look, there's that dreamer boy. He thinks he's so special and better than us. Let's get rid of him. They hated him. So when Joseph got close enough, they ripped off his special coat and they threw Joseph down into a well. And there was Joseph, all alone. His brothers left him, the sheep left him, and there he was, left alone. A little while later, some travelers came by, travelers who sold and bought things as they traveled. Some of his brothers saw the travelers coming and said, let's sell our brother. Let's be rid of him. He will be gone forever. and We never have to hear about his dreams again. So they pulled Joseph out of the well and they sold him to the travelers. God saw Joseph as he was there traveling through the desert all alone without his family, without anybody that he knew. The travelers took him far away from his home. The travelers took him to Egypt and sold him there to the captain of the guard, the leader of the army. Joseph became a slave in his house, but this man Potiphar liked Joseph. He saw how hard he worked and how honest he was, and he made him in charge of his whole house. God saw Joseph and his success and how he was honoring God in the way that he worked. 
But Potiphar's wife was not a good woman, and she told a lie about Joseph. Because of that, Joseph ended up in prison. There he is, locked up in jail. Again, he's all alone. He's getting a little bit older now. Now Joseph is in jail and he did not even do anything wrong. But God still saw Joseph. He didn't leave Joseph. He was still watching over him. While he was in jail, he became the leader of the jail. He took care of all the prisoners. And one day he saw two of his prisoner friends who used to work for the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh of Egypt. They saw him and they looked very sad. Joseph noticed they looked sad and asked them what was wrong. They had both had dreams and they didn't know what they meant. God gave Joseph wisdom to understand their dreams. And just as Joseph told them what happened, they were let out of prison. But now Joseph was alone. He told them before he left, remember me. But guess what? His friend forgot about him. He didn't remember him. And Joseph was still left alone again. One day though, the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had a dream. And his friend remembered Joseph. He remembered that Joseph could tell him the meaning of dreams. So he told Pharaoh, there is a man in prison. His name is Joseph and when I was there, he told me the meaning of my dream. Maybe he can help you. So Pharaoh called Joseph out of prison. He put on nice clothes to go see Pharaoh, and Pharaoh told him what his dream was. He dreamed about seven fat cows and seven, oh, these are the skinny cows, seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. And he dreamed about seven ears of corn, seven healthy ones and seven not healthy ones. Joseph told him, your dream is from God. And it means that there's going to be seven years in Egypt with lots of food for everybody and lots of success. But then there's going to be seven years where there is no food and all the food is gone. Joseph told Pharaoh, you need to be ready for this. You need to collect all the food, save food during the years when you have a lot of it, save some of it and store it up. So then when there's the time with no food called a famine, we have plenty of food to feed everybody. Pharaoh said, Joseph, you are so wise. I need you to be in charge of Egypt and to be in charge of collecting all the food and making sure we have enough food for everybody. God was watching over Joseph. He saw his success. God was the one raising him up to this power, this position. So Joseph became the ruler of Egypt and everybody from all around came to him for food. Well, even the place where Joseph's family, his father and his brothers were living, they didn't have food either. So they came to Egypt. Joseph, Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to get food. They came to Joseph asking for food. Right away, Joseph knew who they were, but they did not recognize Joseph. And first, Joseph tested them. He sent them away and said, you need to bring back your youngest brother. He wanted to see how they treated him, if their hearts had changed and they would treat the younger brother with kindness. And they did, they left and they came back with their youngest brother. And Joseph could see that they loved him, that they loved their father, and that they were not the same angry men who had sold him into Egypt. 
So finally, Joseph told them, Brothers, I am Joseph. They were so scared, they fell down before him and said, Oh, forgive us, we are so sorry for the way that we have treated you and what we did to you. Joseph said, Brothers, come to me. Come. And he hugged them and he kissed them and he said, We are together again. You meant to hurt me, but God was watching over me. He was watching over our family and he sent me here to save us, to save our family, to provide for us. And so Joseph brought his father and his brothers and they all came to live with him there in Egypt. Wow. This is an amazing story of how God watches over us and sees us when we're sad, when we're alone, when we're happy, when good things are happening to us, God is still good. He is still in control and he still loves us. Let's sing a song about how God sees us and hears us and loves us all the time. When I'm sad and feel real blue, I turn to God, he will see me through. When I'm hurt or wear a frown, I turn to God, he won't let me down. When I'm scared and cry real tears, I turn to God, he will calm my fears. When I'm fooled or get real mad, I turn to God, he will make me glad. There were times when Joseph felt sad and hurt and scared and alone, but God was always with him. He loved him and he took care of him. And God loves you. He's watching over you and he will take care of you. Let's pray together. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you that you are always good, that you always watch over me and take good care of me, just as you took care of Joseph. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story of Joseph and learned about how much God loves you and watches over you. Even when bad things are happening, he is still with you. And that he helps us to forgive when people hurt us. It can be hard to do. But just like Joseph forgave his brothers, we can forgive people when they hurt us. Click the links below for more crafts and activities and songs to sing. That's all for this time. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.